Hello and welcome. To start creating this patch, begin by adding a ramp top. Duplicate the ramp top and set the resolution if needed, then change the ramp type to horizontal. Add a noise top, decrease the amplitude, and increase the exponent. Add a reorder top and connect the ramp top, its duplicate, and the noise top to the three inputs of the reorder top. In the reorder parameters, change the blue output to input 3 to use the noise as your blue channel. Press V in the viewport to see the 3D shape created with points based on the noise, and animate the noise using an expression for the Z-translate parameter. Next, create a feedback loop by adding a feedback top and a level top, and connecting these two together. Lower the opacity of the level top to see the result. Add another noise top, decrease its amplitude, and connect it to a null top. Then, add a displace top and connect the noise top and the result of the feedback loop to the displace top. Use this for the target top and the feedback parameters. You can animate this noise with an expression too. When you press V in the viewport, you will see the particles moving, and you can change the parameters of the two noises to create various shapes. Increase the amplitude of the noise to fill the box.
To create your geometry, add a null top and a box SOP, decreasing the size to a very small number. Add another null top, then right-click on its output and add a geometry comp. Add a render top and a camera comp. In the Instance tab, use the previous null top for the geometry instance parameters. Use the RGB channels for translation. Add a light comp and adjust the parameters. Assign a PBR material to your geometry, decrease the metalness. And adjust the light and material to achieve the desired effect. Adjust the camera position and play with the parameters to get a nice view. Now, decrease the size of the boxes to make them look like particles. Add another null top and connect it to the output. To manipulate the boxes containing the particles, add another box SOP, a null top, and turn it into a geometry comp. Add a render top, go to the render parameters, and assign the geometry.
In the box SOB parameters, change the center to 0.5 and assign a PBR material. Decrease the alpha in the alpha tab and enable blending in the comment tab for transparency. Add a subdivide SOP to create different parts on the box and adjust the parameters as needed. Finally, add a composite top, change the operation to add, and connect the two inputs. Make adjustments to the new box parameters and add another effect by adding a new box SOP. a null top, and turning it into a geometry comp. Set the render parameters for the geometry render. Again change the center to 0.5 and connect it to the composition top. This time we use line material for the new geometry. Add a subdivide after the box, and make the depth same as the previous subdivide. Go to the line parameters, and adjust the distance, and near width, and distance.
Now this is my shape for now. Thank you for watching, until the next video, see you.